Good morning, today is Monday, September 20th, and we are under a air quality advisory. Um, we're getting smoke from the fires out in California again. And supposedly, we were under a air quality advisory over the weekend, but the skies were a lot clearer than it is today. Yesterday, it was like blue skies. I can see the mountains clear. Um, it was very windy yesterday, I will say that. Um, but today it's a lot hazier. It's probably why I have a sinus headache <laughs> this morning. Um, I haven't taken anything for that yet. I took my antibiotic this morning, but no allergy medication as of yet. I'll probably take a Sudafed in a little bit. Um, so, yeah. And I'm, I'm the same as far as the stuff in the throat. Um, so far I'm not coughing as much, but it's early, well, not early, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, but you know, <laughs> long day. And like I said yesterday, I'm editing the last few parts, or last few clips from the Eiffel Tower diamond painting that I finished. I downloaded them from YouTube to the desktop and then I bring them up to Movie Maker and then I have to wait for the files to be available so I can edit them. I rotate them and of course I speed them up and then add music. Um, as of right now, I already sped up like five clips already. And as of right now, that's the watch time. So yeah, I'm guessing it would have been like five or six hours of watch time. So. I wouldn't do that normal anyway so yeah speed them up and I speed them up um, 16 times so I'm hoping the watch time will be like 20 minutes or so. Um, so so while that was doing that well waiting for the files to come available I um, watched some YouTube videos had my breakfast and stuff so yeah, so I'll probably go down in the living room later while this was it's doing its thing and um, then go on from there. But other than that, nothing else too exciting. It, of course, it's like I said, it's only 20 after 10. <laughs> and yeah, same old, same old. I should dust because it needs it well I have it dusted in here I keep saying I need a dust but I never do <laughs> I definitely need to dust my bedroom because I noticed it needs dusting and it seems like I just did it but I think it's been a while since I've done it so I don't mind it it's just taking everything off and you know and then put everything back on on it on the um dresser because that's a long dresser so anyway i think that's about it for right now nothing too exciting so see you guys later so i ordered lunch a little while ago from uber eats because i still had a 50 percent off coupon with them with my order for my order so i ordered mcdonald's i ordered my usual two cheeseburger combo and I ordered the um, mini pull-apart donuts because it's new. I want to try it. I like the bag. Um, and I just got my order a couple minutes ago. And I took everything out of the bag. And the bag was taped up. Um, and the drink was inside. So I got my drink. I got the cheeseburgers. I got the donuts. No fries <laughs> at all. Um, I did contact uber eats about the missing item so we'll see the driver did not take it because this was taped up so i don't know what happened and that's never happened to me before i never had an item missing from uber eats before so that's a new but i'm gonna eat my sandwich anyway because i'm hungry and take my supplements and my Part three of the video is uploading, or not uploading, it's pro still processing. It's about going to be 24 minutes, so 
I knew it was going to be 20 minutes and something, but yeah. But anyway, so that's it for right now, and see you guys later. So I heard back from Uber Eats a little while ago, and they are refunding me the entire order. I'm getting my money back, which is, you know, good, but I would still like to have the french fries, but I guess a, fr a free meal is just as good as french fries. Um, I did try, or I did eat the donut pull apart glazed donut holes and they were tasty they would have been better warm i think you know i understand traveling from the mcdonald's i order from and to my house and then waiting after i ate you know my ate my lunch to have them they cooled off a little bit and i know i could have got up and warmed them up a little bit but i didn't feel like it so but they were tasty i would order them again probably at the restaurant itself so it can be nice and warm so anyway that's my little update with uber eats so see you guys later good afternoon or good morning it's a quarter to 12. today is wednesday september 21st and i just got back a little while ago from trader joe's in winco and spent a little more than i wanted to spend at winco but there are a couple things that were a little bit pricey that i well one thing i normally don't get but Anyway, um, at Trader Joe's, let's start with the counter first. I got organic ground cinnamon because I was running low on this stuff. And this wasn't bad price. I believe it was $1.99 at Trader Joe's. Um, then I got organic ground ginger. I think it was the same price. And then this is brand new. Cheesy seasoning blend. Add some cheesiness to popcorn, vegetables, pasta, etc. And I saw this on this morning on Instagram from Trader Joe's List. I believe is the Instagram name. And when the guy was bagging, well, one guy was ringing me up. The other guy was bagging. And they both looked at it and were like, this is brand new. I can't wait to try it. So... And then at one co, I got more pure vanilla extract. I got a bigger bottle this time, a little bit more money. I got parsley flakes. These were 98 cents. Italian seasoning and cinnamon sugar. I saw this, I'm like, oh, I don't have to make it, <laughs> you know. So and then I got um, another thing, a Benadryl Allergy Plus, because I'm on the second um thing of these because you get two sleeves or two yeah two sleeves of these things so, and then i got fritos and first i got another bread it's on in the refrigerator because there was no room in the freezer again i didn't feel like playing tetris in the freezer these i normally don't get because they're expensive but they're so good they were like on sale so taste Tate's Bake Shop chocolate chip cookies. And these, I know, well, these are holiday items and I normally don't get it. But I'm a sucker for retro stuff and packaging. So I got these. I got Frankenberry and Count Chocula. And I don't know, I don't know how much these were because there was a price thing, but it was like folded. But I had to get them anyway. They were probably cheaper there at Winco than it was at Target when I saw them first at Target. And I think the ones at Target were like the family size boxes. So anyway, and then these, this was like $2 and change the Monster Mash. It's all five retro monster cereals in one. Again, I'm a sucker for retro packaging <laughs> and retro, you know, retro stuff. So I had to get this. I got enough cereal to last me for days, for weeks, because I still have this unopened. And I got the Life. I still, well, I, well, I got Life cereal. I don't have a Life. But anyway, um, back to the grocery haul. I got another bottle of teriyaki sauce, because I'm running low. Um, I got Manwich. And I got a thing of French onion soup because I bought, well, you'll see. And I got a 
something of poppy seed filling for when I make um, plumitations later. <laughs> I Well, it's not the holiday season to make it, but I like plumitations any day, anytime. And hopefully I'll get the recipe right this time. <laughs> I got tuna. I haven't bought that in a long time. And I think that's it in there. Um, did I buy anything in there? At one coat, I bought strawberries. I bought um, a new cream cheese because it was on sale. I bought pound cakes. I haven't had that in ages. Chocolate chip cookie dough because there's a thing on um, Ibotta app. I got a new thing of lemon juice. And I got sparkling ice and strawberry watermelon. Sushi, of course, for lunch. And this is uh, one of the things that I normally don't buy. Jumbo snow crab. It was This one package was a halfway decent price. And you got a lot more for that. Um, I know the crab legs don't look that big. But there were some that were more, much more than that. And there was like a couple that were cheaper than that. And they didn't hardly had anything in it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, at Trader Joe's, I bought... Um, Saturn peaches. I had them before. They're they're good. And I bought a thing of plum clots. I bought lettuce, shredded lettuce, tomatoes for taco. Well, bought this um, Fritos for a taco salad. Meat and fresh onions. Bought two kinds of wraps. I got the cranberry turkey wrap because that was really tasty. The last time I got it, and I got. Um, roast beef wrap. The only bad thing is the meat and stuff are like way like at one end and there's like nothing on the other end. And I got fried cheese for the taco salad. And there's the other bread. Oh, and I bought salad dressing, Lena for the taco salad. And in here, I bought more hot dog buns. They're not bad price, like 98 for one full brand. And I bought um, steamable sweet corn and broccoli. And I bought these plantain slices at Trader Jones. These, I had one this morning. I bought them the last time. I don't like them. <laughs> the egg part doesn't get hot. In I gotta strain this out. <laughs> right here, I bought another fried rice. And I bought these. These are new from Trader Joe's sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancakes. I've seen them on Facebook. I'm gonna try them. I got cube steak and plank steak. This was $10.01. I guess that's the other pricey item, followed by the sushi. <laughs> And at Trader Joe's, this is also new. Maple flavor, whatever these eight mini pancake puffs. Those sounded interesting. And I think that's about it. So yeah, I think that's all I got at those places. So. And yesterday didn't do much at all um i've been going to bed early like eight o'clock or 8 30 because i'm like i can lay in bed and look at my phone just as well as i can do in here <laughs> so that's what i've been doing um part of it i think is loneliness and boredom and stuff um, i did start working on the diamond painting yesterday I filmed some of it, so, and I, I want to say it's the stuff in mucus is a little bit better, <coughs> but I think it's a little bit better than it was before, but it's still there. Of course, I'm still taking the antibiotic, so, 
hoping it works because <laughs> I don't really want to go back. I probably won't go back till if I have to until next month if it's not better because I don't, I don't want to go back. <laughs> and if I go back, I'm hoping that I open my mouth and say, send me somewhere to a specialist because I don't tire. I'm tired of these antibiotics. So anyway, I'm gonna cool down and have lunch and. Um, Watch something on one of my streaming services. I have so many to choose from. And yeah. So anyway, that's it for right now. So see you guys later.